of Shop Talk. This week I want to talk to you about preparing your company for constructive feedback when it comes to social media. Doesn't matter how good you are, it's going to happen at some point in time, somebody's going to say something on Facebook or Twitter about you or someone that works for your company and it's not going to be pretty. So. I want to suggest that you prepare for that and start to think about how your business is going to respond to constructive feedback. So there are a few things that I suggest you do to get ready. The first thing I think you should do is anticipate the constructive feedback that you might receive and put a process in place to equip your employees on how to handle the, the negative feedback that they receive online when it eventually happens. The second thing I think you need to do is you need to take a look at your website and see how user friendly is it for people to submit feedback to you. Often people will go to Facebook and Twitter and rant because it's not easy for them to find a place on your website to submit their experience to you. And so they want to post it someplace where someone is going to notice. The third thing that you want to do is you want to teach your employees the process that you put in place with respect to how to handle the constructive feedback when it happens and reassure them that it's okay so they don't get all freaked out the first time somebody complains. The fourth thing that you want to do is state your customer service policy on your Facebook profile or your Facebook page, your LinkedIn, let people know the best way to give you feedback when it comes to complaining. If you let people know that they can contact customer service by going here or they can submit any type of feedback that they receive by going here, a lot of times people will follow that direction. You can also let them know when you're posting that little blurb that any feedback received via this site will be um, handled in a private forum versus in a public forum. You can also also say that any types of feedback that have profanity in them will be removed so that you can kind of set the tone for what is acceptable and what isn't acceptable. The number one thing that you want to do is be seen as an organization that actually cares about the feedback that your customers give you. You don't want to put your head in the sand and pretend that it didn't happen. You want to find ways to learn from the experiences and take the feedback that people are giving you seriously. So don't be afraid that you're going to get constructive feedback. Instead, approach it from a proactive point of view and figure out what process can you put in place and what policies can you put in place internally to deal with the constructive feedback when it happens. In my next video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more tactically about how you can deal with the constructive feedback when it happens. So make sure you watch next week's Shop Talk as well. If this video was helpful, please share it. I really appreciate when you share it with other people that can benefit from this information. And if you have a question, a suggestion, or a comment, please leave them wherever you're viewing this video. You may be on my blog, you may be on YouTube, you may be on Facebook. Wherever you're viewing it, let me know what you think. I'm really curious about your feedback too. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next week.